right guys what's up arrogant fly guy here my package came the big package I've been hinting at so recently I was on eBay looking around for just some basic stuff and I happened to stumble upon a uh, pretty big fly tying lot going up for auction and uh, I was pretty cheap so I got it I won't say any numbers but it was definitely way 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 below what all of this stuff would be worth some of it's uh, like surplus stuff for like big stores tying from what I understand and some of it's just uh, some of it's new some of it's a little used so I'm just gonna get into it my GoPro only has 30% left so there's a good chance that it will die but I will go charge it and pick back up where we left off all right so I got the eBay box here oh, try to uh, should have left the addresses out so let me see if I can get this <laughs> I don't think you guys can see it anyway uh, I'm just gonna cut all this. I'm just using a razor blade. <laughs> I use it for uh, deer hair, a shaping. Wish I had like a bipod or something I could stick this on, but I don't. All right, nice, nice, nice. So this was the stuff apparently that wasn't in the pictures. Um, I don't want to break everything open. Well, let's do it. Why not? So first off, I see some nice hackle feathers. Like that's a good strip of like blondish brown hackle that I can use. And I've been needing hackle, so that's awesome. Um, <laughs> this is just like a little bit of dubbing. <laughs> in a container oh that's the lot for you you know uh i'm sure i can use that for story and other stuff <laughs> a little dab of dubbing what do we have here this looks like this looks like more hackle feathers looks like some white and black ones just like a little mix pack Ooh, there's some really nice long ones in there that's awesome those will be great um more hackle this is like a brownish red like a bar color uh, a little more, more hackle in that blondish kind of pattern again. Uh, let's see, we got some some leader here, some leader wire. So this is four pound. I think that's not bad. I could use that for my bass stuff. It's kind of old, so I'll have to check the strength of it, but it doesn't fade that easy. Here's an empty bag. Uh, what is What do we have here? Oh gosh, this is... Wow, this is pretty good stuff actually. So these are still leaders. So this is gonna be for like your bigger fish, like muskie, pike, anything with sharp teeth that could break a standard leader, that's gonna be what that is. These are hooks, I can hear them in there. You can probably hear them too. So these are mustad, viking hooks. These are old. They're size 16, made in Norway, wow. I wonder if they still make their stuff in Norway, I don't know. Hold on, I have a mustad, new nut mustad pack right here. Let's see what this says. This is just some streamer ones. Uh, it has a New Jersey address on there. I'm going to assume it's not anymore. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. If you're into antique hooks or anything. Some more. These look slightly newer. Uh, ooh, there's just an assortment of hooks. Looks like you got some streamer hooks in there. Doesn't have a label on it or anything. I'll have to go through those, but I'm sure they're still good. Doesn't look like they have like, any rust or anything on them. Oh, what are they? What are these? Green soft glow beads. Nice. I have no clue what I'll use this for yet, but it's there. Um, next thing, we got a few more things in this. What is this? Oh, this just takes me in more. That is awesome, guys. So these are all jig heads. Already pre-done up jig head flies. Oh my gosh. I've been so, doing so many of these lately. This is just going to take me to the next level of it. Uh, oh, okay. So we have some like uh, artificial wings here. I've never worked with these type of things before. So that'll be interesting to see. And I've personally, I've only seen pictures. I've never seen anybody really go into them with these plastic wings like that. But it'll be interesting to try out. I'm going to have to now that I have some. And that was just the package they were in. So that was bag one. Um, there's some loose. Getting those out later. Too. Let's do this. Oh, this is coming out of that. All right. Obviously, we're going to do this one next. So 
this. Wow. Oh my gosh, guys. This is a whole like thing. This is a uh, full of hackle. So these are like the backsides of roosters, basically. And these are just massive and long, and they look great. If I had to guess, this is probably grade one or grade two. And so this is probably, I don't know. I want to say this would probably be like 30 to $40 new. I could be off on my pricing there a little bit, but I think I'm pretty close to on the money. I can already see good, more good stuff. Here is another. This is a, I have one of these, actually. This is a soft hackle from a, uh, what's it called? You've, you've guys seen me use them in the videos before, but this is in a ginger color. That's really cool. Mine's just the standard, the one I have. I've used it a few times. They're pretty cool to work with. And we have another hackle butt. Oh my gosh, look at this olive. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can do so much with this. This is a, easily another like 20, 20 to $30 piece, I would guess. Oh, we got more tails. More tails. Look at that. Good feathers. Yellow. I have not done anything in yellow yet. So that's cool. Purple. Love purple. Blue and pink, respectively. Both great shape. Both got good feathers. That's awesome. We got another one left in here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that pretty gray. Oh, that is awesome. That's beautiful. Those are really beautiful feathers. I cannot wait to work with this stuff. I'm just going to repack this bag real quick, guys. Move on. This one has stuff falling out of it. So we'll just pull this one right out here. Look at this. Ostrich, Harrell, Chartreuse. I don't even know what I would do with this yet. But they got it priced $2, and I'm sure that's a discounted price because Hairline is a great brand. So they have a little bit more of a price tag on than some like Cabela's Bass Pro type stuff but it's worth the money, no doubt. So that's awesome. What do we have? Polar plus synthetic tie, fly tying material. This is awesome. I have some of basically this in the hairline stuff in my box and I've used it every now and then, but now that I have more, I can use more. So that's exciting. And ooh, fiber. So this is artificial fibers in purple. That's cool. I've been wanting some fibers. Um, basically the same stuff. And this looks to be in a gray. That is really cool. Oh, it's called Natural Belly Shine. That'd be really good for streamers, for bait fish. And this is yarn. You could use this for a few things. First thing that pops the head is mock flies. Here, see, you could do salmon eggs with it. That's what it's labeled for. That's really cool. There's a lot of options we can do with that. Oh gosh, more feathers. Awesome, awesome. Oh. We might as well pick up the big guy first. Uh, so I'm assuming this is another ostrich hero like that, but it's uh, quite a bit bigger. Look at all this like soft brown of that. That's freaking awesome. We get some nice long, almost blue. They're so black feathers. I don't know what that would even be off of. That's awesome though. And this is duck feathers and they're in an olive. So that'd be good to use for lots of different stuff. Um, let's see, we got some pink feathers. That'll go with my collection of pink feathers. <laughs> oh, da -da. ooh, orange blood quills. Nice. I love marabou. I use marabou in so much. I think this is more, yes, blood, black blood quills. I was almost out of black marabou, so there's a little bit more. Oh, look at this pretty purple. That is amazing. That is so beautiful. And that's just feathers. Oh, yes, more marabou. Please, please. So this looks like blood clothes again, and it looks to be in like a lime type thing. That'd be good for bass and flies. Some straight red feathers. What are these? What's the exact color of these? Just says, yeah, just red. But it's like a purpley red. It's like a wine red. It's nice. And more of that yellow marabou. I'll probably just condense that down to one. One pack there. What do we have here? I'm not sure what this is. This looks like to be a little bit of some hackle maybe I don't know ooh look at these oh these are pretty these are really pretty feathers look at that pink on black that's so nice oh look at that that's like a peach the same type of deal what is this one called Ernie's casting pond golden pheasant that's pretty nice I've never heard of that brand it must be like a local brand or something 
And there's the same deal. These are just these little pheasant feather feathers and they're dyed. Some saddle hackle, and this is olive. Nice. These will be great for woolly buggers. Pink and black on that pheasant. I feel like we got a lot of these in here. I'm just going to pull a handful out and go through them kind of quickly. Orange and black. Yellow and black. Uh, looks like just some natural colored and assortment. This probably came from a uh, fly shop where they like plucked their own and made their own, I would guess. Yeah, there's an, again, that's a natural color. Longer ones. Black on white. Um, this is about the end of this bag. But as you can tell, we still have a lot to go through. This might wind up being a, a couple part video. So this is just some mallard flanks. You can really never have enough mallard flanks because you tie a lot with them. Mallard flank, but uh, this looks like a yellow peacock peril. Could use some more of that. Look at these nice, long, black hackles. That's great. And then the same thing, but white. All right, just one second, guys. Well, All right, guys, I'm really hoping that my camera doesn't die before we get to the end of this, but the GoPro battery, you never know with it. Sometimes it'll last longer than you think. Ooh, ultra chanel micro brown that's awesome that'll be really good for small smaller flies and this is still sealed this is actually i think that's the name of the shop that it might have been but look at that like brand name great stuff this is swish straw dark brown i've never used any of this this will be really interesting to try out you guys are definitely going to see that in another video on uh, here's some yellow chanel I was really needing some more chanel, so this is really working out. This is just like a piece of like plastic material that you can use for time. I've seen it used before. I will use it at some point. Purple chenille. Nice sparkly olive chenille. This would have been great when I was tying woolly boogers. Some more uh, sparkly yellow. There's some orange. This is yarn. And uh, there's some red yarn. But neat yarn. I hadn't had any yarn. Uh, I got two for one right there. This is like long stringy olive dubbing, if you can see that string in there. So that would be another thing. I actually have something in mind for this already. And here's some red red dubbing. Um, we have some more of that uh, that swish straw. And this seems to be in like a uh, ginger color. That's calling it copper. Uh, I don't see copper, but we'll see it is. There's some uh, maroonish yarn. Olive yarn. <laughs> yarn. Yarn. Black. No, this is, uh, actually, this is chenille. This is more olive chenille. That's cool. That's like a darker olive, though, so I like that. White yarn. There's a lot of little things in here. I'm going to try to just grab a handful like we did on the last one. Dark green yarn. Some more of that copper looking yarn. Some more of the long stringier dubbing. And this looks to be like a red of some sorts. Um, this is the ultra fine chenille. And it's also in a red. This is like a copper looking chenille. What are they calling this? Miniature sparkle braid in a copper. Blue yarn, ultra chenille, standard yellow. Grab another handful out of here. Golden sparkly chenille. Wonder what I'll come up with to use that. Some red chenille, purple chenille, or that, that was actually yarn, sorry. Black chenille, gold chenille. Teal yarn. Don't want anything slipping off there. Gosh, there's so much. Oh, some of it came undone in my hand. Whoop. I have to tie that up. That's very thin yarn. It's brown. Orange yarn. Bluish, navy bluish yarn. Uh, teal again for the yarn. Ultra thin uh, chenille. It looks to be an olive. Um, like a coppery yarn. There's another like reddish maroon yarn. And another teal yarn. Oh, that was like a mint green yarn, sorry. 
Oh gosh, let me pull this. I'm gonna have to pull this last handful out. <laughs> to try to get all this because some of it's coming undone in my hand. Come here, you. So right here we have a little uh, lime chenille. Uh, I'm gonna stop the video right here and go around and grab my charger. I'll be back in just a second, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. So after uh, grabbing a charger for the GoPro, I should have charged it last night. I didn't think about it. Well, I think I did. Yeah, I had it on the cord, but it was in my computer. I thought it would may might charge, but it's hit or miss. So this that was actually coming unwound is there's like enough for two packs of chenille here, and this is like a uh, it's like an olive. But it's like a light olive with a dark olive in the middle, which is pretty cool. And it's like all over here. I gotta ravel it back, roll it back up, but there's a lot of it. And this is kind of the same except for reverse. It's the dark on the outside, light on the inside. And this is just some regular white chenille. Um, this <laughs> is some regular yarn. Uh, there's some brownish looking yarn, red yarn, and yellow yarn. This came from a Hunter Banks. That's funny. I don't know if there's any Hunter Banks in the Pacific Northwest, but back home, it was like the uh, the premier fly shop, uh, where you could like, where it was like more high end stuff versus just like your regular bait shop that might have a few fly fishing things. I will say though, that Hunter Banks was a little expensive, and the people that worked there were a little uppity. I'm sure that's not the case for all of them, but the ones near me, that was the case. So this is just more white yarn, very thin white yarn, more teal white yarn, <laughs> not white, but teal yarn. There's a maroon pack again, another maroon pack, a couple more of the teals, some orange chenille, and then the brown thread. I'm gonna set my camera down again, guys. All right, you guys, we're back. So we're starting to see the bottom. I think there's like, looks like two or three more bags plus this box. Let's go ahead and get this hook out of the way so we don't stick ourselves. So, going into the next bag. <laughs> we got a little squirrel tail. This is just like a white squirrel tail. I have yet to use anything squirrel tail. I've seen some people use it and it looks pretty cool. Never done it myself because I never had one, but now I had one, so I guess I got no excuses. We have <laughs> dark chinchilla. I wonder if this is, this has got to be old. I don't know if people do that anymore. I gotta find out the rules on that. I gotta look into that. I don't know if you can use chinchilla anymore. <laughs> Feels like that might be something that's a little off. This is just more, this just says miscellaneous hair. But I'm assuming it probably comes from the chinchilla again. That makes me question, wait, is this a squirrel tail or is this a chinchilla tail? <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know. That's That's the thing about buying older stuff, you never know. Again, this is more chinchilla in that, uh, like a sandy brown color. That looks to be an olive. Uh, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna guess it's chinchilla again, but it looks like it's like a whitish black deal. I got some strips here. This is big strips. I'm not, this might not be the chinchilla because this is kind of bigger, but it does look about the same texture, so it might be. Uh... That looks like a deer. No, no, it's probably still more than that chinchilla. And this just looks to be in like a natural color, most of these. This is a big strip. I'm hoping this is a deer body, because I could use some deer bodies. Haha, -ha, elk hair. That even better. I've been needing to buy some elk hair for such a long time. Here we freaking go. I got some. Now, there wasn't that much in that bag, but it was just a lot of, uh, a lot of fur. Oop, I dropped some. So just... All right, guys. So this looks to be our final bag, which seems to have quite a bit in it. So I'm actually going to cut back right here and do this hook box first because nothing's really going to be taken out of here. I'm just going to show you what's in it. So if I can pop this open with one hand without spilling anything. There we go. These look like they belong right there. And you look like you belong there, there, etc., etc. So... The sizes are sort of mapped out on the front. I don't know if that like is accurate, but I can kind of guess. We have some, in this corner, we have some really long stringer, stream hooks, like massive. That's, that's awesome. Um, some more of those, basically about the same. Uh, this actually has a uh, an eyelid type thing for, uh, you know, 
doing uh, extended stuff. Uh, these are probably size four or so, I think, if I had to guess. This looks like a lot of different larger streamer type hooks or salmon hooks. I can use a lot of this for the bass stuff I've been tying lately. Yeah, see, th these are smaller. You could use those for trout. These are these would be great. Some great dry fly hooks. Some bigger nymph hooks right here. Uh, what do these look like? Yeah, you could do some wet flies on those. Uh, let's see. I have some smaller nymph hooks right here. Some basically some standard dry fly hooks. And a paper clip. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Those look like a, just a, some smaller streamer hooks, maybe for like panfish or something. But I'm definitely at no loss of hooks for a while. And I will probably use this container myself. I'll probably wind up rewriting all the numbers here and uh, making my own slots for it. Because, you know, might as well reuse what we got. All right, guys. Final bag, final bag, final bag. Oh, sorry. My nose is running today. Dubbing time. So this is called aurora at least that's yeah it's called aurora that's really pretty it's like a very like sunflowery yellow gold type feel to it i like that it has a warm feeling to it oh look at this fat stack of dubbing oh this is wool actually so this is this is uh a rambo wool red that's kind of cool i like the name oh okay see you can see the part right there from the sheep that's cool or the skin piece the part I guess it is a part. So this is a uh, Angora Goat Brown. <laughs> Such unique cut names for these. I think this is more of the same. Yeah, that Aurora. Actually, then this one you can see it better. I'm gonna hold it down here in the light. You see that sparkle to it? That makes it. Even, I like it more even more now. I love a little flash and everything. Uh, Angora Goat Burnt Orange. So this is probably goat. That Angora, Angora Goat dibbing. Never heard of that, but it's cool. Poly dub in a brown. Can't go wrong with a little brown dubbing. Really can't. Ooh, these look like little small feathers of some sort. I'm sure you could do a lot with that. I don't know what their exact name is, or I'd tell you guys. This looks like some burgundy dubbing, which is nice. You can do a lot with that. Um, this is just more of those. Oh, they, they look like. Okay, so they're. But <laughs> duck butt feathers is what I'm getting. And there's some flash right there. And it's a sticky flash, so this is, I'm sure there's something I can do with that. I'm, nothing's coming to mind at the moment, but that changes. This is really cool. So this is, this is actually really interesting. And if it's what I think it is, I'm pretty sure it's the stuff to do hair's ear nymphs because it comes from a rabbit's hair and it's, it's a texture that, that looks and feels very similar to this, and I'm pretty sure this is basically already pre-done stuff for hair's ear nymphs. And I've been wanting to do some hair's ear nymphs for you guys for a while, because it's on our top 25 list, and it would be great for that playlist. Oh, here's these uh, more stick things, basically. But like they're like a camo pattern, that's kind of cool. But yeah, I've been wanting to do some for you guys, because it's on the list, and they're just great flies. So wow, this is actually some old Orvis dubbing. Manchester, Vermont. Light cow hill, and it's kind of a whitish pink color. Gosh, I wish there was a year on that. You think that's the year right there, 62? I doubt it. I don't think it's that old. Um, some more of these, uh, the wings for these, uh, Catus. Catus pupas. This was made in Germany. It's, it's kind of cool. Uh, what do we got here? Some dubbing, fur dubbing. Hmm. Feel the texture on that. Ooh, that's different than regular dubbing. That's pretty cool. So that looks like a yellowy olive, like a mucus type color. <laughs> oh, we got some more wool. I can already tell again. Yep. So this is a uh, ram's wool, and it is black. That is thick. I like that. All right. I'll try to get these little bags out before we get into the thread. Oh yes, 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 yes. I love this. All right, so starting with this one, we got some beads. You could use these to make eyes, from what I understand. You can also use them for weights. And that's a silver. That's a gold. We'll put those right there to the side. Sorry, guys, I have to keep pushing my sleeve up. 
Uh, we got some dumbbell eyes. That's a good size. Some bead heads and some green and orange, which is awesome. I love colored bead heads. Achoo! Oh, sorry. Box is a little dusty. Look at this. This is awesome. Look at these heads. So that's like a uh, burgundy red, wine red color. We have some smaller dumbbell eyes. Look at that. That is really cool. So if you see that, it's like a green flaked black in there. And then these are just a bigger size on those uh, string, strung together eyes. There might be some more. Yep, one more it looks like. Some bigger dung, dung bell eyes. And if I had to guess, I would say these are tungsten. I'm not sure though. Oh, now the messiest part probably, but my favorite part so far. La thread and wire. So this looks to be a red wire, which is freaking awesome. I love wire because I love to use it because it gives a little sparkle in the water and it gives it weight some ultra thread and that's also red it's name brand right there hardly used uh, this is some Danville's 900 <laughs> denier so it's incredibly thin you see it it's already splaying I'll have to fix that later but brand new other than that we have some more Danville's in a flax waxed uh, nylon and it's obviously a nice pink i wish i had that shade of pink around valentine's day when i was doing the valentine's day special flies for you so danville's again so this one's called axine floss i've never heard of that and it's 900 denier um copper wire roll this would have been pretty big it's been used but there's still plenty of copper wire on there and that's a pretty thick copper wire it's not the normal copper wire i use so that could be used on bigger flies it'd be great what everyone needs, black thread. This is Venus 100. I've had a couple Venus thread, uh, some of their stuff, and it doesn't seem to be any different than like the Uni or the Danville or anything, or the Ultra. Here, so here's some Uni threads, speaking of it, heard us talking about it. 200 yards, A dot, orange. I think I have a few things I got in mind for that. Sorry, I'm moving all around, guys. I got the cord and the GoPro, so it's a little difficult. So this is really cool. So this is like a pink like a pinkish purple wire i foresee a lot with that here is something you can't go wrong with that wrong with some flash ribbon or tinsel this says mylar tinsel and it's just in a silver which is not bad it's a pretty universal thing that you could use with that here is some more black thread and this looks to be probably like that 900 denier because it's already spreading splitting apart kind of this is more copper wire. Um, it's in a 210 denier. At least that's what the sticker says. I didn't know the wires came in deniers, weirdly enough. Maybe I never bothered to read it. We have a lot I gotta tie back up. So this says copper wire. This is, this is obviously not, it's, well it is copper wire, but it's green. Um, there's more of that purpley. This actually looks, yeah, this looks different. So this is like oh, actual purple purple compared to the other one that looked like a hybrid. Um, and then that's just a solid brown. That's more brown than the actual copper. All right, last but not least, some gold tinsel. Like I said, I can do a lot with that too. So that's <laughs> it's all my table, my chair, the everything well guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed that there was a lot there there's a lot to go through if I had to guess that's probably coming I would say around two to three thousand dollars I'm gonna add it up before I put it in the video of course it's gonna be loose math I'm not gonna upcharge because I would like to actually see how much I spent in conjunction to how much is here and I know already for a fact that I've made my money up because I don't like to say how much I spent, but I got a very, very, very good deal for how much is here. And that's just not me saying that, that's like checking with other fly people and seeing what they say. And everybody was like, yes, go for that, that is good. And I beat out like 45 people on it and still got a good deal. Uh, but thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
like, subscribe. I might be doing a giveaway for some of this because I don't see me using some of it. Um, I see me using most of it because, you know, you guys know I like to try different flies. So we'll get that out there. But there's definitely going to be more giveaways coming because I'm going to be tying more. So stay tuned. Like, subscribe again. Thanks for all your support. I just hit 62 subscribers. This is a really long intro. I apologize. Get out there and catch some fish, guys.